Hello, happy new year. I am, um, it's like my first day back to real life today. Dahlia's at nursery and I'm just trying to get on top of things. Making some breakfast, George's at work. I love having the house to myself, like it's such a good feeling. So I sat down, I put some questions on, like a question box on Instagram yesterday to do like a question and answer for this vlog, like a little chatty video. And I tried to film this morning while I was doing my makeup and I realized that I cannot do two things at once. I cannot do my makeup and talk. Like I'm just not good at multitasking. As you can see right now, because I'm trying to talk and cook breakfast. So I'm just gonna refilm it. It wasn't that good, it wasn't that good. And it would be annoying for me to edit. So I'm just going to have some breakfast, then sit down and refilm it. My breakfast is, I've got some spring greens, some mushrooms, and I'm gonna crack, I've only got one egg. I'm just gonna crack it in and then have it on toast, I think. I tried to film my, I think I said this, I tried to film my makeup on camera while I was talking and I just could not do it, could not do it. And I feel like I look weird because of it. I'm just gonna check my teeth. I wanted to do like a little catch up today. I've got to this point, it's midday, but this feeling where I'm like, oh my God, it's my day without Dahlia. I need to get stuff done. I need to get stuff done. But now it's midday and I've not really done anything apart from delete a whole video that I filmed. <laughs> Someone just said, how are you? How am I? I'm actually feeling very good because I usually don't like January. No one does. And this year I'm like, I'm not going to entertain that. I have, I'm just going to straighten my camera a little bit. I have we've moved we've done like a big move we've got a house we've got a healthy gorgy daughter and jordan started to enter into that whole oh january god it's so miserable and i was like no no we're not doing that we're gonna have a good january we're gonna just lean in to winter being cozy not having any expectations not going out not doing anything we don't want to do just enjoying January for what January is for. How are you finding motherhood? My baby is almost 12 weeks old. Ah, oh, little baby, 12 weeks, gosh. 12 weeks is such a good, like it's such a turning point. I feel like if you've made it through the first 12 weeks, you'll be fine. And congratulations also. How am I finding it? Oh my God, you guys, I just love it. I feel like it has, I'm, I feel like I'm the best version of myself now uh, in all like areas of my life, most areas of my life. I just feel like I've really come into myself and I've just embraced like being a mum. You probably know like we, I was so on the fence about having a baby. I was like, I was fine. My life was good, I was happy. And then we were like, sure, let's see. And I wish I had known it would be as good as it is. Like I wish I'd enjoy it. I'd known that I would enjoy it this much. I will say though, I had a really tricky pregnancy. Not physically it was fine. It was so much easier than I thought. Um, I didn't really have any like physical issues. But mentally, I really struggled. I had a, I was very anxious and I, see when I see like videos and like TikToks and things and people like being pregnant and they're so chill and so excited. I'm like, how? Because I, and I'm like this with a lot of areas in my life, I cannot trust the process. And often when it's all said and done, I'm like, God, why did I not just have faith and enjoy it? You just can't. I'm like, I was just so worried all the time. And I found it really hard to be on social media and I really, really pulled back. I said the other day, like I, I said in a blog post and that just, it came up in the questions, but um, that I said that I wanted, I thought about deleting my social media for a little while. Obviously it didn't. Uh, I deleted my videos on YouTube, but I just felt like it was, it was tough. It was just tough being online and pregnant. I felt like people were very negative. Um, I would like post a picture of like a coffee cup of my book and people were like, you'll never do that again. Like when you've got a baby, you'll never ever read a book or drink coffee again and it's so ridiculous but i just obviously like you just don't know you can i personally could not be excited for the unknown and honestly some of the messages that i got i was just like not regretting it but just like what have i done i'm about to have a baby and people are not making me feel good about it so i really just like pulled back and i would say that it took me until dahlia was about one like recently in the last few months maybe not one but before that to come back online and be like present and stuff because I really struggled. I really, really struggled. I just get off on like the good vibes. I'm not saying that everyone around me has to be happy and like I was in my group chat and stuff, we're all complaining all the time. But I don't know. I just think all the negativity from strangers really got to me. And I would just never, I would never do that. Now I've had the baby. I'm like, God, what are people talking about? But yeah, I don't know. I just think it, motherhood is so much better than, I wish I'd known it would be this good. 
I wish someone had told me. Like, I wish I'd had a baby younger, but not because I think I'm old, just because I could have been having like this happy life years ago. <laughs> and there was nothing wrong with my life before, but I just, I don't know. I think I just like the simple pleasures and having a baby allows me to have like those sort of simple, live out my little simple life with no excuses. <laughs> I think you get caught up in the rat race, don't you? How has your breastfeeding journey been? My, oh, I just love breastfeeding. I've had a really lovely time with it. Obviously there was like hurdles at the start. When I was in the hospital, I was in for a few extra days and I just got the midwife to show me how to latch. And when I got home, I kept researching, looking up videos, showing me how to latch. Um, I went on the, on if you go on Reddit and go on the breastfeeding subreddit, anytime you run into an issue, just search and everyone's always had like some sort of issue that's similar there's just so much advice and i honestly think that i could do a degree on breastfeeding <laughs> i just know so much even now when my friends have a baby or someone i know has a baby i'm like how you get on how's feeding going and they'll be like oh this is happening i'm like right if that's happening try this i did this or you know just like really help and like i'm constantly there i'll text like in the morning i'll text like 3 a.m like how's feeding going like how are you getting on because even i think like even my friends have on their second baby, they're like, oh, I didn't have this with my first. I'm like, right, I think I had that. Or I remember someone saying, I just love breastfeeding. Do you have friends in Brighton or did you move hoping make, hoping to make new ones? Yes, I have. we have some friends. Um, we're meeting people all the time. I would love to find a core group, but I just don't know how to do it. But I'm going to treat it like dating a little bit. Like I've got that peanut app and I never did like any sort of proper dating dating because I met Jordan when I was quite young and we met like pre-Tinder. So I've never used anything like that. Seeing if people match my vibe. I'm not, I like, I don't need them to be mum friends. Obviously I want some mum friends, but I would like a core group again because my friends up in Scotland, ugh. I just loved being part of a big girls group. Love a group chat, just here for it. But yeah, hope, hope, hopefully. How long do you see yourself in Brighton? So I do, we go back and forth. We're just gonna see, we're just gonna see. Like I am not, we're not, we don't have any plans. We're just gonna see how it goes. Every January, every January, I look at moving back to New Zealand or Australia, every January. And then Jordan's like, you do this every single January because it's cold in winter and you don't like it. But obviously all my family are in New Zealand and I just think about all like my, like Dahlia's cousins, like my sibling, my brother's kids. I'm like, oh, they could be friends. And just like the childcare we'd have, the life we'd have. And, and now I'm older, I love like the slower pace and I feel like New Zealand really like nurtures that. Ha having kids, whereas here I just feel like not, they're like the family vibe is less in the uk in general like it's just i don't always think that's like a very like i don't know it's not really I, it's just such a different vibe in new zealand like it's very kids are like welcomed whereas here i feel like that i don't really get that same vibe i don't know if that's just me what's your dream job what is my dream job so before so i've always kind of like stumbled i like i stumbled into like what i do like content creation and i do love it but i've always had to have i've always had something else on the go like we had the coffee shop and like then i was in scotland some of the year and now i've got soleil my drinks brand and i always think like i've always wanted to have a drinks brand so i really feel like that's quite a triumph but it's not something i can't imagine doing it forever i'm very much operating it like a small small business and i don't want it to take up all my time and actually that is something that's changed so much since i had dows i was so driven before like i was really i worked my whole life around working and i really put so much value in how much i worked i don't feel like that at all since having a baby i am a mom <laughs> it's so strange and i feel like if i saw myself at pre-baby if i knew i'd feel this way i would have felt like a little bit sad for myself does that make sense like oh you know she's kind of given up she had a baby but it's not like that at all it's like the opposite like i just feel so fulfilled from being mum being at home like i just love it i cannot believe women fought to work no i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> i would really love to do it. and i this is on my five-year plan and i've thought about it for like a wee while it's on I would do it until Dow's is probably at school, um, but it's definitely like something I'm going to work towards. I've like looked into it a lot, 
um but it's not like it's not now um, i would love to be a doula i had such a wonderful newborn experience and i would love to like help other people other women out just bring home their baby um especially like postpartum care like i would sort of do like household stuff i'm such a good cook and i'm so good at like cleaning and looking after people like nurturing and also like things like photos like i would just i don't know i'd probably just aim to create like a really nice newborn experience for someone just like you know look after women that just had a baby that would be my dream i just love babies now i've had a baby and i just love the whole ba having a baby experience i would love a career that would like allow me to like continue training so, like, so yeah that'd be nice my mum was actually in new zealand my mum was a nurse when i was younger i always wanted to be a nurse because my mum was a nurse and i actually did forensic science i did go into like a sort of science initially go into like a sort of sciencey background but that's like obviously one day one day anything you deeply miss from before you had your wee girl i am someone that just i just do not like having regrets i just it's not something that i ever allow myself to lean into i say there's always gonna be things that you miss i actually don't think i miss too much and if i if there is anything i, I miss i would just go and do it like i don't know whatever i would just go and do it um george me and george are always like enabling each other or allowing each other or encouraging each other probably to go and do what we want so there's not anything i miss but the other day actually i was very unwell i had like a fever and came down with like quite a bad cold and sore throat and i will say getting up in the night and in the morning while you're like shivering from a fever to look after a kid that was tough that was tough uh, so I think about like times like that, that was really hard. I must just being able to like lie and do nothing. And also like on like cozy days, um, I get like mum guilt if I'm like not doing activities with her. I wish I could just encourage, like just accept like, yeah, we're gonna be lying on the sofa today and that's it. But yeah, otherwise that's just not something, I just feel so like, I feel like it's fine to like miss things from your old life. I'm not saying like you shouldn't. And there is definitely things like, I don't know, just like the responsibility, I guess like, only having to look after yourself having someone that depends on you that is like it's a it's a bur it's like a big deal isn't it so weighs on you sometimes any trips away planned this year not yet we were going to go to new zealand the whole of january um we've not been back since 20 end of 2019 i've like my dad my family my brothers and no one's met dahlia so we did plan to go back this month but then in the end we just for many 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 reasons there was just like so many reasons like we couldn't go back so we did it in the end feel very sad about it because they're having amazing weather and it just looks so good but maybe next year or maybe some other time feel sad about it but it's just because we just got settled here Dallas just started nursery door is working again i'm in like a good pace with work and stuff so i didn't want to like mess all that up by going away for a month what does jordan do for work so he does he still does coffee he kind of is like a freelance barista like he's not set anywhere he kind of just helps so he's helping a guy that just opened up a coffee shop this guy's never owned a coffee shop coffee shop before so george like helped him set it up and stuff and um, but yeah just does just does coffee he's like roasting so when we first moved down he did like a coffee like a long course on roasting coffee and now he roasts coffee in our shed so i think that's his like end goal is to roast coffee but you know life gets in the way so he's just chipping away at things as we always do would love to hear about any big future plans so as i said like we <laughs> are just in our like sitting tight era like we changed so much to get to this point i really just want to enjoy our new life and that's exactly what we're doing like all i want to do is just be in our house do some little updates to the house and like spend some time in the garden get to know like the area make some friends but like nothing big like i am done with like big plans i don't think i will do anything big for a while i'm gonna do the opposite i'm like um so yeah just chipping just living life like i always just love chipping away at things and pottering and and that sort of thing so i don't think i nothing do not expect a single announce from, announcement from me or an update from me in many, many years. I have no, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I'm just mum. I'm just Dali's mum now. Someone was like, if someone asked, would you be open to doing a house tour video or putting your old videos back online? So I do get all asked a lot if my old videos are going back and I just can't see it. I know people love watching them at Christmas and stuff, but honestly that melts my heart. Like that is so, so sweet. But 
I don't know. I just, I'm in a new chapter of my life and I can't be bothered going back through them and be like, oh, which one should I set live? I don't know. And now I know it sounds weird, but I just, just need to put some distance between the old me and the new me. Um, and I don't know. I just want to like start again, start fresh and that's what I've done. <laughs> what will be your first home projects in the new place? So we actually don't have a lot that we want to do initially uh when we bought this place it took me about a year to find it because i wanted somewhere that was a complete blank slate like we could move into but up date rather than like decorate rather than renovate i don't want to do any big renovations apart from i would love to get the bathroom done but it's not like it's not essential uh but yeah just i think we'll do dahlia's room i've got some gorgy 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 plans for dahlia's room but we're just just need to, to find some time to commit to it and then for our room yeah i'll probably do dahlia's room our room maybe the dressing room straight off straight like this year do you think you will ever have another baby obviously this came up loads i love babies i just i went from being like no i don't want any to being like okay one to being like i could honestly just be a mum forever uh, <laughs> to like a newborn i love the newborn stage i love this age but i do think i'm so happy with one baby and i think george feels the same like i really am so happy and i feel like trying changing that is like a risk as same as you feel like going from none like zero to one um it's the same like i just feel like i'm in a good place you know we've done the hard part like the really hard part of having newborn um and now we've got like this funny little, oh, just love her. Um, and I feel happy, like I feel so content and I wouldn't want to change that. I'm not saying I wouldn't have another baby and I probably will get an itch for it in a couple of years, but I like, I think like we're pretty happy and I don't know if we would have another baby. Like we're quite set on just having Daz. She's just the best. What do you plan on doing different to your last place in terms of like home renovations? For me, just like I want to really take it slow and make it last. Does that make sense? Like I just want to not do any sort of trends, just do things that are like very true to me that I know I'll like for a long time to come, which means taking it really slow. So I think I'll do more like wallpaper. I didn't do, I've never done wallpaper before, I don't think, in a house. I stuck with paint so I could change it, but I'd love to do some wallpaper, some more like longer lasting things, um, some nice like built-ins like usual, but something a bit different um, and just have fun with it, I guess. I feel like this, I, I feel more pressure because I know we're not gonna, we're gonna live here for a wee while. Whereas other places I knew it was just like a kind of short term thing. Although I say that, but we lived in one of our flats for like 10 years. So just gonna enjoy the process, really plan it out, do lots of mood boards, make sure I'm happy before we do anything. Just create like a really nice place that we want to love to live in basically. But I think that is all my questions. There's a few more, but I just thought, oh, I'll leave it there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am going to edit it and upload it. I'm actually not going to stick to like an uploading day anymore because I just think I can't commit. I'm just going to throw a video up whenever I feel like it. So I hope that's okay. And um, yeah, catch up soon.